What's going on traders? Welcome back to Gorilla Futures. This week we took a trade on the Micro ES. Now for those of you who don't know what the Micro ES is, we just posted a blog and the link will be down in the description talking about why you should trade it and how much it's worth per tick and everything like that. Now this week we ended up taking a two candle rejection and we almost got stopped out, but our stop loss was just under a support level and that trade ended up netting us about 10 points. Let's take a look at how that turned out. Alrighty traders, I think we might be getting a trade here. Um, just to run you through this real quick and then I'll kind of explain here if we do get an entry. So overnight we've been ranging, we had this nice failed breakout, price came back down and now we're finding support here in between 29.30 and about 29.35. So I would like to enter this trade on the other side of the open, so I'd like to enter right around 29.40, maybe 29.40 and a quarter, um, depending on where this closed. We got about a minute left here on the chart. Um, so I'm still bullish. I think that we've definitely defended a uh, lower price overnight. Uh, we don't have any major bad news. So I'm going to shoot for, and I'll throw a line up here, for this uh, 29.52 area. I think that would be a fair price. I think if we do get a fake out here when we close the, um, the gap, I think we could easily fake out up about four points here to the 29.52 area. Um, hopefully we can get a two candle rejection. We have about 30 seconds left. Excuse me, about 30 seconds left on this bar. This is the five minute bar. And uh, I'm trading the MES. Those of you who are in the Gorilla Futures chat, you know that this week I um, have been trying to trade the MES. Um, just because I think there's a handful of our members that should definitely be trading the MES due to a smaller account size. Um, here we've got about five, three, two, one. Order, order got in. Now let me move my targets. Um, move this up to, let's go 52 flat. And then let's see, this is what, 30. I'm going to give me two extra points excuse me, two extra ticks on that trade right there. So I got filled at 29.40 and a quarter, just like I wanted to, so that was nice. Um, there was a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a whip right there when I first entered, and support is going to be down here near 20, uh, excuse me, support is down here near the 30s in between 35. So I do think if we do come back down, Maybe we're touched this 34 level, 35 level, move back up. But hopefully we just move straight back up. That's always nice when your trades just work. Um, if not, I do think that this level will hold. There's no um, real bad news out right now. Nothing really moving us. Um, so I do think this is still a fair level. But I am trading the MES. So we're looking at, what would that be, about 12 points. Um, actually, well, let's let's go for one more tick just to be, there we go, exactly 12 points. So the MES, for those of you who don't know, pull up a calculator and we can work through this real quick. Um, so the MES is normally one contract. You're normally looking at one, a dollar, 25 per tick. There is four ticks in a point, so you're looking at five dollars a point per contract. So in this case, I'm using five contracts, so we will multiply that by five. So we're looking at twenty-five dollars a point, and we are shooting for twelve points. So we're looking at just over three hundred dollars. Um, now at the moment, the last I check, and this is always subject to change. Ninja Trader required you to have a minimum, I believe, of $500 in your account. Um, I believe you can also trade at times when the um, VIX drops back down, volatility is low, with a minimum of $50 in your account per one contract of the micros. Now, you might want to double check me. That number does change frequently, um, so I may be incorrect. So. The MES is a great tool 
for new traders maybe you're trying out a new strategy this follows the ES exactly so if you're trading the ES if you want to end up trading the ES then take a look at trading the MES first and the same goes with the uh, the Dow NASDAQ and the Russell those all have micro instruments and there's talk that there could possibly be a micro oil contract here in the future so all those are great learning tools those of you who are possibly forex traders especially if you live in the US you should think about switching to futures you can trade the micros for pretty much the same price and the tax benefits are normally a little bit better just because the way um, everything's taxed here in the states but as always check with a certified accountant CPA something like that as I am no accountant so with that said I will pull the dome up I'm gonna let this trade run for a few minutes so as always I will fast forward and if anything happens along the way I'll definitely chime in and let you know what's going on and what I'm thinking so here's the dome and again this trade it isn't a major trade um, not going to end up getting rich off this one trade it's only five contracts um, the reason why I'm taking this trade is I wanted to show the chat that with a few contracts on the MES you can still make a uh, a decent amount a day every other day all depends on what we get so with that said I will let this roll and see what we get So we can see that price has come back down. We got within about a point and a half of getting stopped out. So, so far we're pretty lucky that this level is still holding. Hopefully this turns into a nice little fake out. You get this sharp move down and then price shoots back up. Hopefully that's what happens. If not, then we will take our loss and move on as that's just a part of trading. So with that said, I will fast forward the video until something else happens.
Alrighty, we are getting about three, four points away. I'm going to move my stop up just to protect in case there's any kind of sharp drop down. Once I'm up this much, there's no reason why this trade should turn into a loser. Um, if it does turn into a loser, then that's most likely kind of a mental thing and it needs to be stopped. So always move your stop loss up so one, it can pay for the trade, two, protect your account, and once you do that, keep your hands off. Ooh, we might get a fill. We are, here, let's see if I can do that real quick. We are, well, we're moving back down. Um, so this is a sign that we might have to close this trade out by hand. We might not get a fill. We do have about three minutes left in this bar. So if this candle comes and it closes down here near maybe 45 or 46, um, that would definitely be kind of a good sign that I should probably think about closing this out by hand and I'm not going to get a fill and we're going to go back into a range. But we do have about three minutes left so I will let it do its thing and oh, we are back about a point away. Maybe we'll get a fill. I won't have to speed anything up and we're moving back down. Keep getting within a point. So we're and we got filled. So let's recap the trade real quick. We can see overnight went into a range. Nice fake breakout. There's definitely support down here uh, between 35 and 30. Entered off this two candle rejection. Um, looking back at that, it wasn't the strongest entry, but it was valid. We had one, two, three, four, five, six times that we stopped got this nice fake out um, then we reverse and pretty much moved straight up from then um, the reason why I picked this target resistance over the night uh, you can see once we broke we moved right back up and then once we broke down we moved right back down so I knew there's definitely some eyes on that level right there and it worked out so if you're thinking about getting into trading or maybe you're trading Forex and you want to kind of give a chance to futures or something like that think about trading the micros they're great starter um, also if you're in the US again you can get some kind of tax breaks but be sure you talk to your accountant before you uh, do anything like that don't quote me on that and as always if you have any questions you want to learn more or anything like that think about becoming a Gorilla Futures member and as always, best of luck with your trading.